Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, this is a problem that says the boom that supports the two ver vertical loads. Neglect the size of the colors D and B and the thickness of the boom. Compute the horizontal and vertical components of force at pin A and the force in the cable. Set F equals to F1, F of 1 equals to 800 newtons and F of 2 is equal to 350 newtons. So let's draw the free body diagram. We know we have a tension right here. I'm going to call it T. F of 2 is equal to 350 newtons, F of 1 is equal to 800 newtons, and at A we have a vertical reaction, let's call it F of AY, and I know I'm going to have a reaction to the right, F of AX, because the tension is going to the left, so the reaction is going to be going to the right. And this is our free body diagram. Now, very easy problem guys because we're looking for f of a in the x, f of a in the y and t. So to eliminate these two, my first equation is going to be sum of the moments at a. It's kind of clockwise is positive, it's equal to zero. And this is equal to. First we have the moment created by f of 1, which is equal to f of 1 times the distance from A to here. This distance is given by 1.5 times the cosine of 30. And it's negative because it's trying to turn it clockwise. Second one is the moment created by F of 2, which is the distance from here to A times, 300, uh, times 350 or F of 2 which is given by 2.5 cosine of 30. And it's also negative because it's also trying to turn it clockwise. Now you know that the tension has a y component and an x component. Let's call it dx and dy. Now you know that dx is equal to 4 over 5 times t and dy is equal to 3 over 5 times t because of this triangle right here. Okay, so the, the 4 over 5, which is the x component, dx, <coughs> d times 4 over 5, the x component, you have to multiply it by the distance from here to a, and that distance is equal to 2.5 times the sine of 30. And then the y component is, you have to multiply it by t times 3 over 5. You have to multiply it by the same distance that we did before to calculate f of 2, which is the distance from here to a, which is equal to 2.5 cosine of 30. And this is positive because it's trying to turn it counterclockwise. And the x component is also positive because it's trying to turn it counterclockwise. So this is our equation. We have f of 1 at 800. We have f of 2 at 350. And the only variable here that we have is t. So let's solve it. So when you plug in the values, the first term should be minus 1039.23. Second term should be 757.77 plus t because surprisingly enough this is equal to 1 if you plug it into your calculator plus 1.299 which is 1.3 t which is this term right here. So add this all up and you should get 2.3 t is equal to 1797 t should be equal to 781.3 newtons. So we have t. Now the problem becomes very easy guys. Sum of the forces in the x is equal to zero and is equal to the reaction at a, the horizontal reaction at a going to the right minus the t of x which we already know it's 4 over 5 t. t we already have, we plug it into here 
and we solve for f of a of x, and you should get that this is equal to 625.04 newtons. And last but not least, sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero. In the y, we have the reaction at A, the vertical reaction at A going up. You got f of 1 going down, f of 2 going down, that's why they're negative, plus the y component of t, which is t times 3 over 5. So plug in t here f of 1, you know that it's 800, f of 2 it's 350, so you plug in all those values and you should get that f of a y is equal to 681.22 newtons. Final answer for the reaction at A, the vertical reaction at A, for the horizontal reaction at A, and for the tension at the cable.